What's up, guys? This is the Road from Malaya. Back in the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as France. So the runoff happened last time. We had lots of attacks in India, and we've successfully isolated um, a chunk of the Maratha forces. However, I have just checked my objectives, and it would appear that we have secured all of our objectives for India. So Michigan Territory, which is Spanish. Liguria, which I think is in Italy somewhere. Flanders, which is Spanish. Corsica, which is Spanish. Let's see, got Brussels, Milan, Genoa. So wait, let me check it again. So Liguria, Genoa, Michigan Territory, Spanish, Flanders, Spanish, Corsica, Genoa. Well. You know what this means? We're going to go to war. We're going to go to war with Spain and Genoa. The question is, do I do? Do I go for it all at once? Do I go for it all at once, or do I take it slow? Okay, so let's get some. That's a lot of really cool units. You can have two grenadiers. And then two regular line infantry units. Because that's a really cool looking army, actually. And you, because I don't know what else you've got on the way. Hmm. Crew a bunch of fusiliers. That should be safe. What was that? So is it you? No, I saw something that. Oh, what are you? They look great. Okay, let's recruit a bunch of fusiliers first, because that's what I wanted to do. So that's six fusiliers, and that's one more than I can actually handle. So let's get rid of you. Okay, so because I've got my objectives with India, I don't know whether I want to... Do I want to make peace with India and just kind of... Well, no, actually, I want, I want this region. So if I can wait a turn, capture this region, then I may make peace, because then we can bottle them up. So they very much don't like us. No one really likes us, apart from the Ottomans, bizarrely, even though we own a good chunk of their empire. Okay, let's do one more turn of recruitment. We need to keep. Well, I want to continue my fight against the Russians to open up another flank against Austria, because my plan will be to declare on Spain and see who responds. I think that would be the best option. Then it will be up to Austria to decide which, where their loyalties lie. Because you've got enough capacity in Europe to be successful and to, to hold our own. Uh, when the forces to the east begin uh, crushing the last few Russian cities, then that will be... Uh, Austria would have to think about its eastern flank. So they won't be able... They won't be as simple as forcing all of their... As being able to send all their troops eastwards. So that, yeah, so that army in Strasbourg is going to wait, and if, if Austria decides not to join us, they're going to hit Munich. Then, oh, oh, eh. Okay, I need to plan for multiple contingencies here. So, if I declare on Spain, or do I make Strasbourg a defensive position, bring that army to the south, and then I could immediately either attack Genoa or Milan? Because there's a chance that Genoa doesn't, doesn't join them. I mean, there is a chance that happens. But I think I'm going to need... Probably going to need some ships in the Mediterranean ready to transport my Jerusalem garrison to threaten Ankara. What we don't want is... Oh, I didn't, didn't attack them with my St. Petersburg troops. 
It's unfortunate. I'll recruit some people in. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Because it also brings in that cavalry army that was near my port. Yeah, blockade away, Russia. Does not matter. Does not matter one iota. A Swedish run and, run and kiss. <laughs> so, I don't know why the AI thinks, it thinks that's the best way to do it. Moogles are moving out. Aha! So that's what they've been up to. Well, I can't let this stand. So much for peace with the Mughal Empire. Destroy them all. That's my plan. So I should have some ships in range to destroy that Mughal army that's not in my port. The army that is, I'll need to send some recruiting. Yeah, so it might be, that might postpone my genuine declaration of rebellions grow in strength over time. The more they're left unchecked. Always act quickly. You mean like this? I'm bringing in my cavalry because that should be more than enough. Yeah. You rebel scum. There you go. They've had their little wine and now they're okay. Good. New town emerges in Barra. So, craft workshop. More tea, more iron workshops, more rice. Where's your iron field? Upgrade that. Good. Still replenishing. Port blockaded, port blockaded, port blockaded, port blockaded. Oh, I thought it would have some ships around here. Oh, they're all on the channel. Ah, but that's enough. Oh, they're my sloops. What about from Portsmouth? That's enough. Dion de Rousset. Sail around through the through the Strait of Gibraltar and hit that Marathon navy, because then that at least ties up or destroys one of their one of their ships. Do I, do I even want it? No, it's a sixth rate. I don't want it. And there goes their navy. So I'm going to have to do this. So I don't know if they've disembarked yet. If I do this, what happens? <laughs> they've not disembarked, so just force them back out to sea. Oh, wow. That was, that was beautiful. So I'm going to keep you here, just in case this happens again. Our invasion's back on track. So I'm going to want... Okay, so what I was... Wait, what's that? Oh, Hindustan Rebellion. You've been dealt with. Um, lots of metal roads. Let's keep going with my investment. Let's bring this army out here. To be honest, then, let's just build a bunch of... A bunch of line just to protect... No, don't get heavy howitzers for a garrison. In case things go badly wrong. And I've recruited before. Lots of good stuff. So up over here. To you, my son. You're going to move on to hit Vilnius. Wow, that's... That's pitiful. Glorious victoire. And then you're also just going to poke your head out and hit Alexander. Upgrade, upgrade. Why do you have no culture building? I suppose, oh, that's the park, because you're Poland. It's a unique building. So let's take these guys, bump them up to Courland. 
Cool. Let's take you, go hit them. I should draw in a whole bunch of reinforcements. So dead, dead, dead. You go after them. Okay, so you're staying still. Okay, you might go up and chase them down then. You... You instead will come down here. You will probably attack this Russian army. Because now this army is ready to join the fray. Okie dokie. You know, Crimea is just going to stay, stay where it is because they seem particularly interested in it. Although I might sally out to destroy... Garrison Kirch. Uh, yeah, let's fight this actually. Russian unit. Then it means we can be a bit more, be a bit more free with where our forces end up going. So we can recruit a Crimean garrison, push them uh, northeast. Ankara. Really? Oh, this is like a this is this is like a, this is a beautiful map. Perfect for my artillery advantage. Go on, let's get all my cool-looking elite infantry in the centre. Cover the road. This is beautiful. Let's get these guys to protect my flank. Stretch you guys out a little bit more. These guys will be ready to move in. Then let's take these two line infantry units. There is a tree in the way. Perfect. Get my howitzers back. General taking a proud position. Oh, they're right up in our faces as well. Artillery shrapnel shot. God, that cavalry just got destroyed. Uh, don't worry about that cavalry unit, it's running through. All of my, all of my, <laughs> running through all my musket fire. I need to retarget these palaces because that's just rubbish. They're both trying to destroy the same screen. There we go. These guys should be okay. They're a bit depleted, but. Go on in my company fast and a marine. Oh, forgot about you chaps. Good. These are like World of World War II Russian Navy chaps. Shot. Because <laughs> the 
because the muskets are missing and they're hitting my howitzers to the rear. And now to them, infantry say they are winning. Think again. Infantry on the left is constantly being picked up by my French Marines. Okay, let's roll up the flank. Fusiliers are hunking, hunk, hunkering down in square formation. And you need to shoot the crap out of them. There we go. We lost about two marines, two fusiliers, and they all went, let's get out of here. Sweet. That's in the battle there. It shouldn't be too much. They don't have God, don't really have anywhere to go. There we go. Perfect. Well, they'll make it back to Crimea before anyone else can threaten them. You can make some distance on this metal road actually, but I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Radio, so I think let's hit, uh, do that. That's a bit of bait. Let's repair you because you are now safe. Let's repair you. Let's see if you'll move. Let's remove repair you. Cool. Let's hit enter. They do have no defences, so I'm just going to maintain siege for now. If they had siege, if they had defences, I'd attack because that would have been a fun battle. I think I may need to. Swede, the Austrians might knock out the Swedes. So I may need to sprint my St. Petersburg forces ahead and try and steal a march on them. Haha, <laughs> Spain is just, Okay, I'm calling my allies and let's see how people side. Austria and Genoa are the big ones. Oh, nuts! I will absolutely defend this because look, it's all a bunch of just junk. Let's absolutely defend Cologne. I don't know how to defend these. Oh, good old Wellington. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a lovely, lovely, lovely defense because they've got not very. They've got it's all rubbish infantry that's attacking. They have no artillery, no elite infantry, nothing that will be able to stand on the walls. So they'll all run. They'll run forward and forward back, forward back. Same as time and time again. Yeah, no breaches because Europe is safe. And then we won't get any breaches either. Okay, so let's deploy. I never bother trying to man these guns on the corner. Never, ever, ever. It just always seems to not work. I have so much infantry, I'm going to put a line infantry unit on every man section of the guns. Drop my mortars to the front, 12 pounders to the rear, still doing quick climb, and I've still got all this infantry left, so I'm probably going to pick 
fill in some of these gaps with preferably line infantry but I'll take militia if I need to well I think it's funny because it just means that they have no no section of the wall is undefended for any reason love it you messed up Spain let's make sure my men are garrisoning the walls correctly They're all within cold flame range. Oh, yes. This is what a siege is about. Oh, man. 12 pounders, hit them. Hit that massive chunk. Mortars firing, but I want to see if oh, I really want to see my howitzers fire off against them. Okay, so I may pull this militia unit back because it's starting to because this, 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 these guys have overlapped and it's starting to interfere with how they're deployed. Mortars firing again. Oh, they're doing round shot as well. Nuts. Okay, quick lamp shot. Oh no. Maybe the wrong guys. Here we go. I thought I'd better just check that they've not got a spy in here and they've opened my gates. Because if they did, then I'd swarm. All of my gates with the unit of militia. If they're not, you have no way you can go. You are being fired upon from every possible angle. First unit to route, it will not be the last. There we go. Not as much firepower this side because of that small gap, but to be honest, all of this line infantry is good enough. Poor devils. And then you'll come back. You hit the quick line because they're not going to attack. So the general's back here. He, this is their single unit. A single unit of cavalry. But they will not get into the walls. Killing, retreating men with quick line shot. Have you no pity? to get up onto the walls here. Take up your position over the gatehouse. Prepare for the next volley of fire. These poor chaps don't really have much of a, much of a hope. Oops, 
fall back, they will come back, but they're all a bit more wary this time. Present. Fire. They're all coming around the rear now. Kill all the men that are on the walls. Oh man, this guy's like... Oh, God. oh yeah, kill the guys that are out of sure. all these guys being bugged because that would have been pretty nice to get all that fire onto them. Will they join the walls? Good. They will still join the walls suitably. These poor, these poor Dutchmen are dying for Spanish food. So let's keep my keep my um how my twelve pounders uh, to target these units that aren't moving up. Because if a unit isn't attacking, I want my twelve pounders to hit it. Okay, they're all they're all moving in now. This is their final attempt. Nothing can stop this now. Okay, let's change my point of fire because this is just some casualties. You hit that. Inside the walls, yeah, they like fell through or something. You can see them at the bottom. Where do they go? There they are. See them in inside the wall. Somewhere at the bottom. Somewhere inside. Treating on all fronts. foothold here. Not for long then, not. The officer just skewered that guy with his sword. <laughs> I 
<laughs> gave him a little bit of a woo. Oh, dodged him. You get involved too. Turn fire off. Turn fire on. Sometimes the yeah the AI is just a bit funny. You have to turn it off and on again, and then they realise what they're supposed to be doing. Present fire. Third regiment, regiment of militia. You know you're in trouble. You're already at 93 oh. militia. Units. Oh. Oh. Seems to still be going okay. They're confident, despite the fact that they're getting chewed up. So these guys may escalate up the wall here. First, a little bit of changeover to get a militia unit on the wall. I could shuffle line infantry units around, but it's not a good point. This is the closest they've got. It's closest they've got to achieving something. Positions on the wall here. Fire off. Fire off. on. Come on, these guys just stop firing at that original militia. He's in position. Nope. So I'm just gonna actually send these guys into the combat. Got the militia unit up here. Let's see, you're doing okay. Scoot you along here. Scoot this militia unit onto to the wall here. This was my week you. you, sir. You have deserved a rest. Off the wall with you. Same with you. This strong unit will take up position. Retreating, retreating, retreating. The general's retreating. Full on retreat. Okay, the exchange ratio should be pretty interesting for this battle. Heroic victory. Damn right it's a heroic victory. You know, yeah. Let's have a look and see how things have gone. Oh god, that's brilliant. 416 lost to 3,790 lost of theirs. Full retreat. That's what you get, Militia King. So because none of their allies have joined them, um, the army that I originally want, wanted to send to destroy... Um, Venice is actually going to go south and hit 
Milan, and then be ready, poised like a coiled viper. Can they fall back? Yeah, I will, I'll recruit some, some cavalry. I'll recruit some cavalry in St. Petersburg to stop them from being such scamps. You want to go back all the way around there to raid that port? You've got bigger worries, mate, than that. <laughs> Because you're being engaged. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. In you, Sweden, this might be the last time you actually do this rigmarole. You may, in fact, next turn, be destined to this to the history books. Oh, they've driven back the Austrians. Yep, yeah, the Persians are en route. So that's why it's imperative we build walls. Ooh. Okay, so they've run around, and that's not ideal. So we need to spin around and engage them. The Genoese are falling back. Okay, well, we're keeping tabs on them, for sure. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become too unhappy. Okay. You must either appease the riot. They're okay now. Okay, so Europe, you, this agent. Ce n'est pas possible. Go. Alliance broken between Spain and Austria. Got a lot of blockades. So let's recruit General. Wait, is there a limit on Royal Crassier Guard? There is, so I'll get you a few lancers. They'll I'll send them to go chase down the likes of this. This chap. Yeah, and he's replenishing still. Do that. Glorious victoire, Monsieur. Vos ordres. Keep replenishing. So that's five units. Have I really got five oui, units of artillery? I do. Six units of en artillery, avant. actually. Marché. Port blockaded in Malmo. Fine. Okay, so this army here, Prêt. you come down here. <laughs> Alright, oh, going the long way around because the Austrians are blocking the bridge. Fair enough. Okay, you bring over two grenadier units, they're cool grenadier units, so let's do a swap. You go there, then you hit Brussels. There are currently no troops stationed at this fort. I don't get why it's... Stand, it must be, is it just... It could easily be off. It must just be pure numbers it's basing that off of, because 2,600 men, 5,000 men, they must win. No, they mustn't, not with all this junk. Um, but speaking of the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of France.